Hello YouTube, it's Bastion here and welcome. Today I'm going to make a short tutorial. I'm just going to show how you can add like recoil or random bullet deviation to your top down shooter or whatever shooter that you want. So this is just going to be a very short tutorial because there's not a lot, whole lot of things to show. Um, I'm just going to go through this fairly quickly and just show you how to do it. So first of all, I'm in my uh, top down shooter tutorial that I'm doing with you. I've recorded some videos ahead of time so this is far into the future. I haven't uploaded all of the uh, episodes that I've already done but this is the state that I'm at. So as you can see we have a player and you can shoot and the bullets go straight to the towards the mouse. So basically what we want to do is we want to add some bullet deviation. So this right here is our shooting bullet script which basically just it takes a direction which is uh, to pointed from the uh, X of the player and Y of the, pl the player's position towards the mouse position and then it creates a bullet at that point and set the bullet's direction equal to the direction that we got here so if we go into the bullet object right here quickly as you can see in the uh, step event here it just has an X now uh, where we add the uh, the length of the vector, that is uh, the direction vector with the speed and so with the Y. So what I basically want to do to add some bullet deviation is just in here um, when you say variable direction you can have a uh, it's fairly easy what you can do is in the direction here you can just say the mouse X plus I random range and then do whatever range you want. The higher the range, the more you, uh, the more bullet deviation you want, you will have. And the important thing to notice, you want, you probably want equal amounts into the negative and positive. So you might say minus three to three. So this will have a bullet deviation of six. Let's do it more obvious and do minus ten to ten. So it's actually it can aim towards the mouse. X but with a deviation of minus 10 or plus 10 so we have quite a big of a gap there and the same thing we're gonna do with the mouse Y and that's it you can of course if you wanted to shoot more to the right of the crosshair you can just only do positive numbers or lower this one so if you lower the uh, the negative value here it'll shoot more to more often towards the right than the left but right now I just want an equal chance of getting both. So of course it will be a random range between minus 10 and 10. So as you can see here, right now we have some bullet deviation. It doesn't always hit the target. So of course the bigger you make um, the bigger you make this stuff, uh, the, the, the range here, if we do 100, it's going to be really ridiculous. Oh, wait. The bigger it is, the bigger bullet deviation you have. The smaller it is, the smaller bullet deviation you have. The more better accuracy. So as you can see, right now it's really terrible. But that's how to do it. Pretty easy. Not a whole lot of setup to do. Like once you have the bullet shooting, as long as you're using this method, where you use a direction using the point direction um, method to uh, get whatever way the bullet is traveling, you can pretty much use this. It's really easy. And I've been used this. Use this. That's been all. Have a nice day.